that means sometimes you do have to act decisively, quickly and securely and fundamentally. And dragging us into war. It's for this reason, according to reports in The Times, that Foreign Office... Is it now not the time for the Prime Minister to admit that he has the blood of thousands of innocent people on his hands and for him to commit to demanding an immediate ceasefire and an ending of UK's arms trade with Israel. Oh. Mr Speaker, that's the face of the changed Labour Party. Yeah. should have taught this House that military intervention starting out as limited can quickly escalate, risking a sequence of events far larger and more terrible and risk even dragging us into war. It is for this reason, according to reports in The Times, that Foreign Office officials were, and I quote, incredibly nervous about last week's military assault in Yemen. Driving the region's instability is Israel's horrifying assault on Gaza, which has now lasted more than 100 days. So rather than giving Israel the green light to continue its brutal bombardment of Gaza and risking a wider conflict, will the Prime Minister, Prime Minister seek to de-escalate the situation and call for an immediate ceasefire? Prime Minister. Uh, perhaps the Honourable Lady would, would do well to call on Hamas and the Houthis to de-escalate the situation. Andrew Percy. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Too many people give a free pass to the terrorists who, uh, uh, who um, uh, perpetrated the worst murder of Jews, and we've just seen an example of that, just as we saw examples of that on our streets uh, this weekend, where people screamed, Yemen, Yemen, turn another ship around, completely unacceptable.